A Melbourne company is punching above its weight in global construction using sophisticated technology to measure the effects of strong winds on building design. The goal is to make sure tall buildings can go up without ruining the streetscape for pedestrians. James Talia explains. With so many high rises going up in and around the city, design has never been more important. We all want them to look good, but there's another factor as well, how the buildings react to the wind. These buildings are very tall and the wind's dispersed and people walking around it needs to be pedestrian comfort for people, both working and living in these buildings, because we all know areas in the city where it's very windy and it's uh, dangerous. Wendy Smith runs Vipac Engineering, a world-leading company based in Port Melbourne that tests designs before they're built. An exact model is made and 1,500 sensors are attached. Then it's placed in a wind tunnel powered by an aircraft jet engine. The results help determine the final design. Potential issues in not just in comfort but also with safety concerns, um, particularly when we're looking at the pressures on the facade or the structural response. Among the buildings tested here, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the world's tallest, in the middle of a windswept desert. The Upper West Side apartment tower on Spencer Street is an example of how wind affects design. There's a two-storey void in the middle, which is a recreation area. It means the wind passes through instead of hitting the building and slamming down onto the footpath. Developers aren't always happy if their design fails the wind tunnel test. We work with the designers to get the best outcome for everyone, but at the end of the day, the, the data speaks for itself. And with more high-rises on the way all over Melbourne, Avoiding the so-called concrete canyon effect is more desirable than ever. James Talia, Nine News.